10 years, I've worked as a writer for Nightlife Magazines, on-air at dance music radio stations, and even started an online TV channel about electronic music and the culture around it. So when Miami welcomes Nightlife insiders, DJs, labels, and fans to the Winter Music Conference, it is the craziest week of my year. So why do I find myself hanging upside down at my first event of 2009? In the Music Lounge with Armani Exchange, and it's a retreat for all the DJs, talent, VIP, media, everyone who kind of invades Miami for the week to get away from it all. Ah yes, I couldn't bear the Miami sun wearing the shades that I got the exact same time last year, could I? Hold it higher, goddammit! <laughs> what am I working with here? I think we got a winner! Yeah. So it was back to work in our first party of the week at the Shelbourne Hotel, where DJ David Guetta, whose song Love Is Gone is all over Miami radio, rocked the proverbial bikini-laden house. Or in this case, pool. Later that night, we went to the Global Underground Party at Mint, and then to Cameo, where we discovered a hoedown at DJ Sharam's Western theme party. The next day, we started out by talking to DJ Carl Cox, who told us about spinning records for 1.8 million people at Berlin's Love Parade. I mean, when I started DJing, if I had more than 20 people, I was rocking it, you know. To have 1.8 million people, well, it was a responsibility <laughs> based on what I was going to do next. Then it was off to Nikki Beach, where local Miami resident and one of the top DJs in the world, Robbie Rivera, throws his annual mass of pulsating flesh known as the Juicy Beach Party. Juicy Music is a label that I own, and we produce pounding sexy house music. Later that night, I would have loved to have gone to even more nightclubs if I didn't hit the brick wall of my own exhaustion. So after the Juicy Beach Party, I had to crash. The next day began with BBC Radio 1's annual pool party at the Surf Comer Hotel. And later that night, I found myself sitting on the floor at Mint Lounge with the owner, Roman, trying to decipher exactly what day it was. Is it Thursday? Is it Friday? It's, I don't know. The next day, we went by the Remix Hotel to check out some of the new technologies in electronic music. Then to the Sagamore for the French Tuesdays pool party, ironically being held on Saturday. A few hours later, we found ourselves in the back of a limo sitting with the two-time number one DJ in the world, Paul Van Dyke on his way to the Ultra Music Festival in downtown Miami. I think I'm the only one who played every single um, Ultra Music Fest. After a few minutes hanging out backstage, it was time for him to play the closing set, and Paul asked me to introduce him on the main stage in front of tens of thousands of people. It was a week full of music and energy, followed by what I can only pray is a week full of nothing but sleep.